TIFU by congratulating a co-worker. This morning at work, I saw a co-worker of mine who just came back from two weeks vacation. He left for his vacation a day early because his girlfriend went into labor. All of us were really happy for him because he's a great guy and was excited to be a father. I see him this morning and immediately went up to him and said congratulations new daddy. He immediately paled and said what do you mean? I smiled, confused and said you just had a kid, right? Congratulations man how's he doing? He just stared at me for a moment, looked down, and said he didn't make it, man. He was stillborn. I immediately felt like a complete idiot, and began profusely apologizing, and offered my condolences, but I could tell I hurt him, unintentionally of course, but the damage was done. He just kind of nodded and walked off. Three hours later, and I feel like an absolute asshole. TLDR I congratulated a co-worker on the birth of his son, not knowing it was stillborn. Nothing you did wrong. It's a pretty awkward situation all round. The father probably doesn't want to be notifying everyone in work about it. HR management shouldn't really be spreading that either unless the father specifically asks. I was on the other side of this and trust me he is destroyed already you shouldn't feel bad but the company should have done a better job mitigating this ahead of time. Keep an eye on him in the days going forward I went back to work far too soon wasn't good at all. This reminds me of Mother's Day when my co-workers asked me what I did for her. I somberly told them that my mother died five years ago from a heroin overdose. I called my mom and told her later that day and she told me to stop fucking with people. How could you know? You did what any decent person would do. Ideally he would let the workplace know so our could share the news. I would let our know and let them handle next steps. One of the moments where it's not about you at all. Like not at all. He probably has and will get this many times and none of the people fucked up. It is just a very shitty situation for him. You shouldn't feel like shit about what you said. But feel sorry for his bad fortune. I've done something similar. Last Christmas a work buddy announced his partner was expecting. A few months later I just casually asked him how it's going and when is the baby due. She had a miscarriage. Oops. I lost two children very far along. Born and passed. I had a zillion experiences like the one you just shared. I honestly don't remember them specifically. Just that they kept happening. That part of my life is like a fog. Know that while folks I'm sure felt like they hurt me, all they did is surface the hurt that was already there. No one could make it worse. And I don't remember anyone specifically who said something that hurt me. No one did anything maliciously and I knew that. It sucked for all involved. But it's okay for it to suck. It sucks. You didn't know though. It happened to my wife and I so I've been on the receiving end of this awkward interaction. It was really tough at first but has gotten better. I can talk about it with people and make them feel more comfortable in an uncomfortable interaction. Luckily, my work did send out an email to the office with my permission to help people avoid exactly what you went through. You had no idea. This is on HR or your boss a sympathy card and gift card for a restaurant that does carry out. Might be nice. When I went into the hospital to deliver my stillborn baby at 29 weeks the lady at the front desk obviously didn't know that I had a stillborn. Which I don't blame her how could she have known. 
She congratulated me after telling her I was there for labor and delivery and all I could do was look down and cry while the nurse next to me helped me walk away and squeezing my hand kinda like a I'm sorry. You got this gesture. I'll never forget that and I wonder if she still remembers that mistake. I would just go up to them later on. I wouldn't apologize again because it forces them to think about it. But I would just give a genuine offer to help in any way you can and work from there. Honestly. Please listen to all of the people on this thread who have had losses telling you that you did. Nothing wrong. You didn't know and you were trying to be kind. I have a story like this. My sister was six months pregnant and miscarried. She was heading for a sonogram that day and I asked if she could drop me off somewhere which she agreed. She picked me up and I noticed she was crying and I said who died. All she responded was the baby. I stopped using that phase because this happened twice in my lifetime. Another time. My friend called me and I asked her who died which she responded my grandma. Two for two. Just let the guy go for now. He probably won't want to be reminded. Act normal around him if you have more interactions. Sometimes a distraction can be helpful when dealing with grief. If he wants to talk about it he will. Nah. This ain't a TIFU. My dude. You didn't know what happened. You were acting on the best possible information. I know you feel like shit. But don't take it on board. Give them some space. Talk to them in a few days and explain you didn't know. Take them out for a few beers or dinner. They probably need the distraction. One time a guy the first dated was out at a party and almost everyone was having a good time. One couple seemed sort of blank and sullen. For reasons he still cannot fathom. Out of the blue. He said to them. Man, what's wrong with you two? You look like your baby just died he didn't know them. He has no idea why he said that. But in fact, their baby had just died. The woman burst into tears and ran off. Her husband followed after yelling what is wrong with you. So, hang in there. You didn't know. You meant well. It could be worse. It's already terrible. Not really your fault but more so your colleague's workplace is our. Whoever gets to know this should immediately inform HR. Or HR is informed by the person themselves legal reasons usually. HR then contacts the person if they are okay with people offering condolences or rather not talk about it. And then an email or chat message is sent around days before the person returns to work so that colleagues are warned not to talk about this. I have witnessed this multiple times when emails went around about a baby or a partner of someone dying and with the hint to not talk about it. That's not your fuck up. Everyone was clearly excited and expecting a baby after they went on vacation to have a baby. Yeah. You're not a horrible person but lesson learned. You let people volunteer information like that first. It's like the when to ask a woman about her pregnancy where it's like no. Even with a visible belly. And then a baby is coming out of her and it's maybe. You have to let it go. No way he feels like you did anything wrong. Just extend your condolences to him and his wife in a card. Sometimes life is sad. That's just the way it is. Not your fault at all. If you didn't know they can't be mad. A very similar situation happened to me but it was a late miscarriage. My co-worker continually felt horrible but I never was upset with him or anyone. It's just a thing and grief is grief. Give yourself a pass and move on. You didn't know.